Hi, I'm Mike Horschmidt, Reverend Mike, Pastor Mike as some call me. Uh, we're in the sanctuary of the third floor of, of Shepherd's Heart, uh, our uh, building on 13 Pride Street in Uptown. And we're excited to be able to talk to you about what Shepherd's Heart does to help the homeless, uh, including our homeless veterans. We work with, uh, extensively with uh, the local VA um, uh, healthcare system. I'm a VA chaplain, federal chaplain, and my area of specialty is working with homeless veterans and the causes of why they become homeless and how do we get them off the streets into the VA programs as well as into transitional housing programs for homeless veterans like we have. Shepherd's Heart Veterans Home, we have a 15-bed transitional housing program where many of our veterans can stay upwards of 12 months to 15, 16 months. And we work with veterans and have them reconciled with their loved ones and get jobs and, and move out into uh, their own apartments or own homes. Uh, we have a very high success rate, close to 80% of those that come into our program, veterans, uh, succeed meeting their own personal objectives and goals and being able to, to make it on their own. Shepherd's Heart, where I'm an Anglican priest uh, with the Anglican Diocese of Pittsburgh. My wife and I moved to Pittsburgh in early June of 1993. I began walking the streets, going under bridges here in Pittsburgh uh, that summer. Uh, and over the course of the next uh, year and a half, two years, I was just stunned by all the not just the numbers of homeless individuals, but homeless veterans. And so, it literally, our first Sunday service was in late August of 1995. And then in 2005, we were able to purchase our current building. And in 2007, we were able to open up uh, the transitional housing for homeless veterans on the second floor, as well as provide a large number of other services to the entire homeless population of Pittsburgh. We serve uh, a large number of homeless every day. We have a homeless drop-in center open seven days a week in the mornings during the winter, then six days a week during the rest of the year. And we'll see anywhere from 40 to 50, upwards of 100 homeless individuals, of which probably 20 to 30 are homeless veterans still living on the streets. So on a daily, weekly basis, we'll see anywhere from uh, five to 600 uh, during a course of a week where we feed uh, all the homeless. We have them breakfast, we have laundry, we have showers, we have uh, counseling, drug and alcohol, we have morning prayer, individual prayer as well as corporate prayer, as well as we have referral to drug and alcohol counseling programs or recovery programs. The numbers of homeless veterans uh, nationally uh, are, have dropped dramatically since really the year 2005. The National Coalition of Homeless Veterans, a wonderful nonprofit organization out of D.C., they estimate on any given night during the course of a year about anywhere from 63 to 68,000 veterans on any given night. Uh, compared to about uh, five to seven years ago, we've, we've made a, a big, big jump in, in helping veterans. During the course of a year throughout the United States, we'll see 130 to 150,000 veterans will experience homelessness in one form or another, maybe from one night to 30, night, 30 days uh, during, a, during the course of a year. In Allegheny County, the numbers range, uh, homeless number, uh, homeless individuals in general, we'll see about 12 to 1,300 on, on any given night but we'll have easily double, if triple that, we'll experience homelessness. Of that, usually 20 to 30% are veterans. Services that we provide for the homeless as well as homeless veterans, we have our drop-in center uh, every morning where we feed and, and uh, take care of the homeless and so that they can uh, get to their appointments. We have a free uh, shuttle bus service. We provide transportation, free transportation for the homeless and the poor, uh, Monday through Friday, three times a day. Uh, around 14 to 15 places around the, the central part of, of Pittsburgh in which uh, the homeless can go from point A to B without any cost of any uh, money. Most nonprofits have no money for, for bus fare or bus tickets and so it's a wonderful service we provide. We provide uh, housing for veterans, we provide health care, uh, there's the VA homeless health care uh, uh, outreach teams that come down and work with our veterans. We work with uh, Operation Safety Net, uh, which is a medical outreach team through Mercy Behavioral. We work with Mercy Behavioral uh, Healthcare Systems, a wonderful team. We provide uh, Western Psych provides uh, on-site uh, psychiatric. Um, we have services from uh, Sunday services where we work with 150 organizations, 100 plus churches of all denominations. Uh, that provide food on Sunday nights and donations. Uh, we, we receive an estimate of between uh, $1.5 million to $2 million worth of gift-in-kind donations a year just to feed and house and, and provide services for the homeless. 
Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, southwestern Pennsylvania, has a long history of collaborative efforts of churches and nonprofits, as well as the business community, all coming together. It's, it's an amazing uh, uh, community. Uh, in June of 93, when my wife and I and my two children moved here, just stunned by the collaboration and the partnerships that uh, are so easily to develop in our community. Uh, within the nonprofit part of, of the homeless uh, service, uh, social service organizations and churches, um, we, we all work so closely together. Uh, Smithfield Church and Shepherd's Heart, we're uh, two churches that provide uh, uh, severe weather shelter, only two uh, shelters, emergency shelters in Allegheny County during the course of the winter. I mean, it's just the collaborations are just wonderful. What we would not be doing if we weren't here is there would be a great loss to the veteran community, the homeless veteran uh, help. Uh, my, my 17 years of working with the VA as a, as a federal chaplain has given me also a great uh, understanding of all what the VA services can provide. I'm on a, a quite a few uh, board of directors for other nonprofits that provide services to the homeless as well as to the poor and the homeless, uh, the larger homeless here in the Pittsburgh area. Shepherd's Heart, uh, I believe, um, with all my heart, God brought my wife and I to Pittsburgh and brought us with a wonderful staff, and many of my staff uh, are homeless veterans who have graduated from our program. And so if Shepherd's Heart was not in existence, we would not have one of the very few uh, early morning drop-in centers uh, to help the homeless, the entire homeless population, uh, seven days a week. We would not have the severe weather shelter, one of the only two in, in Allegheny County. Uh, our work with homeless veterans in general, uh, we provide just an amazing number of services. Uh, every year we have uh, Operation Stand Down where 60 service organizations come together, over 150 volunteers, three to 400 homeless veterans and, and another two to 300 homeless individuals where in one day we will feed, uh, house, clothe, provide services uh, to uh, a big homeless fair here in the here at Shepherd's Heart, our parking lot and our building. Much would be missed if, if Shepherd's Heart, plus the number of churches that have the ability to do outreach here, they would not be able to have outreach uh, or maybe they could find it elsewhere. But we provide uh, a great opportunity for many that sit in the pews of our churches of all denominations and many veteran organizations, uh, the opportunity to have hand, hands-on approach to bring God's love in very practical, simple ways to the homeless of Pittsburgh. Our funding is provided in, in uh, a vast number of uh, different uh, resources. On our Sunday offering is about twenty to twenty-five dollars, mainly nickels and pennies and dimes and quarters. And so we, our Sunday offering, because we are a church, is very very little. But the the the, the two pennies that a homeless uh, older woman puts in is seen by God as just an amazing blessing. Giving uh, this woman giving her great tie, their great uh, gift. We write grants, uh, the VA and the federal government, as well as uh, the churches that we work with and, and 150 organizations, churches of all denominations provide for us. We have a database of about 1,800 to 2,000 individuals that support us. And so our, our support comes from a uh, wide number of grants, private individuals, private businesses, churches, uh, as well as the federal government, the, the, the VA and our programs. Shepherd's Heart, you could go to our website, www.shepheart.org or shepheart.com, either one. And it'll take you to our website that talks about our homeless veteran program as well as the larger program of what we do with Shepherd's Heart. Um, you can uh, give a donation, PayPal online, as well as it gives you an opportunity of all the things that we do. You can call the church office, 412 281-1305 to find out more information. Your church could be involved or your, your community organization could be involved on a Sunday night or a Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday in our drop-in center or involved in August at our uh, Operation Stand Down, which is an amazing event it's, uh, of itself. You know, it, the winter is still going on. Uh, the severe winter uh, season uh, for the uh, program itself ended uh, March 15th. Uh, but the weather, severe weather is continuing. And so any donations for food, uh, coffee, sugar, blankets, uh, cold gear, 
could be donated to us, brought to us, that would be wonderful, uh, just because the, the winter season is continuing to go on. Any donations you would give, we would be able to uh, uh, put away as resources in, in a storage for next fall also. So anything you could do, we would, would greatly appreciate it. I, I just wanted to thank uh, the nonprofit community, uh, not just the, the large Christian organizations, the 22 veteran organizations we work with, as well as a huge number of businesses and individual, individuals that donate their time. Uh, we are so honored to work collaboratively in partnerships with uh, so many nonprofits, wonderful individuals, their churches, and the business community.